Hello everyone welcome back to the channel. In the spring of 2026 the landscape of modern air and missile defenses changed in a measurable concrete way. Two of Israel's most advanced deployed weapon systems, one a directed energy air defense laser the other a long-range ballistic missile interceptor, are now defining how states think about strategic protection, deterrence and resilience against aerial and missile threats. Today we look beyond headlines and social media hype to explain in clear, precise terms what these systems are, how they work and why they matter in the broader context of regional security, defense cooperation, and the evolving nature of warfare. For decades, Israel has invested heavily in multi-layered defense architectures to shield its population centers, critical infrastructure, and military forces from incoming threats. This approach was born out of experience, repeated missile and rocket barrages, from hostile actors and the increasing sophistication of state and non-state ballistic and cruise missile arsenals in the Middle East. Over time the resulting technologies have moved from concept to operational reality. Two systems in particular, Iron Beam and Arrow 3, stand at the forefront of these developments, each addressing different points on the spectrum of aerial and missile defense. The first system we will examine is Iron Beam, Israel's operational high-energy laser weapon system. As of late 2025, the Israel Defense Forces formally integrated Iron Beam into their air defense network after more than a decade of development and testing. This deployment marks the first time a high-power laser system of this class has been fielded as part of national air defense architecture. Iron Beam was conceived to address a specific gap in air defense, intercepting short-range threats such as drones, rockets, mortars, and other low-cost, low-signature aerial targets that often saturate conventional missile interceptors at disproportionate expense. It is not designed to replace existing missile-based defenses like the Iron Dome, David Sling or the Arrow family. Instead, it complements them within a layered architecture that progressively engages threats from nearest and smallest to highest and longest range. The core of Iron Beam's capability is its directed energy laser, a solid-state high-energy beam that travels at the speed of light when directed at a target. Within line of sight, the laser delivers concentrated energy to a small area on the target's structure, heating it rapidly until critical components fail. Unlike traditional interceptors such as rockets or missiles carrying explosive warheads, Iron Beam consumes electrical power. Once generated, the laser does not require discrete kinetic interceptors that must be manufactured, stored and launched individually. This characteristic gives Iron Beam a significant operational cost advantage against swarming or high-volume short-range threats. Conventional interceptor missiles often cost many tens of thousands of dollars each to engage a single incoming projectile. By contrast, the primary cost for Iron Beam is the electrical energy needed to produce the directed energy pulse. This means that on a per-engagement basis the system can respond to multiple targets at lower expense and with potentially less logistical overhead. From a tactical standpoint, Iron Beam operates at a range measured in kilometers, sufficient to counter short-range rockets, artillery and unmanned aerial systems. Its deployment enhances defensive resilience by taking on the first wave of small or cost-effective threats, while higher-tier missile interceptors focus on medium and long-range ballistic threats. Operationally, it has been integrated into the existing command and control network of Israel's multi-layered air defense systems. For security analysts, Iron Beam represents a broader shift in how modern militaries think about energy-based weapons. Laser-based systems have been researched globally for decades, but few have transitioned into full operational service. Israel's deployment of Iron Beam thus provides a real-world reference point for directed energy weapons as components of a layered air defense strategy, rather than as isolated demonstrators or laboratory prototypes. The second system at the center of our discussion is Arrow 3, part of Israel's long-range ballistic missile defense capability. This system is the uppermost tier in the Arrow weapon family, designed to intercept ballistic missiles during their exoatmospheric flight, the phase when they are traveling outside the Earth's atmosphere, by engaging threats in space or near space. Arrow 3 significantly increases the range and window of opportunity for successful interception before a warhead re-enters the lower atmosphere. Arrow 3 was developed jointly by Israel Aerospace Industries, IAI, and the U.S. Missile Defense Agency, under the oversight of the Israeli Ministry of Defense. It represents the most advanced element of a multi-layered defense strategy that also includes systems, like David Sling and Iron Dome for medium and short-range threats, operational experience, during recent regional tensions showed the system's value. Israel has faced multiple missile threats from state and non-state actors, including missiles launched from the direction of Iran, Yemen and other theaters. The Arrow family has been credited with intercepting a range of long-range ballistic missiles that would otherwise pose grave risks to population centers and strategic assets. In late 2025, German armed forces also began deploying Arrow 3 elements as part of expanded defense cooperation with Israel. 
This agreement, valued at several billions of dollars, marks the largest defense export deal in Israel's history and underscores the system's perceived reliability and strategic value beyond Israel's borders. The core concept behind exoatmospheric interception is to engage ballistic threats before they descend into lower layers of the atmosphere, providing additional time for follow on defenses or civil protection measures. By destroying or diverting a missile in its mid course phase, Arrow 3 reduces the number of interceptors needed in lower defense layers and mitigates the risk that a ballistic weapons warhead could survive re-entry and strike a target. Technically, Arrow 3 uses an upper-tier interceptor with advanced guidance, thrust vector control and kinetic hit-to-kill technology, meaning the intercept does not depend on an explosive warhead but on directly colliding with the incoming missile's kill vehicle. This approach requires exceptional precision and guidance data, often leveraging early warning radar systems and satellite tracking to cue the interceptor. The system's capabilities are broad. In addition to its primary role against ballistic missiles, Arrow 3 has potential applications in anti-satellite defense. Because its sensor suite and interceptor flight profile allow the kill vehicle to pivot and target objects in orbit. If fully realized in that role, Arrow-class systems could give Israel and partner nations strategic options against hostile space assets, an area of growing concern as space becomes a contested operational domain. Beyond the technical and operational specifics, both Iron Beam and Arrow 3 illustrate how modern defense strategies are evolving in response to complex threat environments. The Middle East remains one of the most militarized regions in the world, with competing security interests, unresolved conflicts and a proliferation of advanced missile systems. Against this backdrop, Israel's emphasis on layered defense covering low-altitude, short-range threats up through high-altitude, long-range ballistic missiles reflects a nuanced understanding of both conventional and asymmetric threats. Layered defense means no single system is expected to shoulder all responsibilities. Instead, each technology fills a niche. E. This diversity increases overall resilience. If one layer is saturated or bypassed, others still function. Iron Beam handles high volumes of low-cost, relatively small threats. Interceptor missiles manage mid-to-long range targets. And Arrow 3 extends the engagement envelope into near space. The operationalization of these systems carries broader implications for defense planning and procurement internationally. Germany's procurement of Arrow 3 elements signals European interest in high-end missile defense solutions beyond traditional Western suppliers. Cooperation on advanced defense technology also deepens strategic ties between nations and can set the groundwork for integrated defense initiatives, including shared early warning networks and joint training exercises. At the same time, deploying advanced systems like Iron Beam raises questions about future conflict dynamics. Directed energy weapons alter cost exchange ratios in engagements and will likely accelerate research and development in similar technologies globally. States and militaries watching Israel's experience will be analyzing performance data, field reports, and integration challenges to inform their own defense roadmaps for policymakers and analysts. It is also crucial to consider how these technologies fit into broader geopolitical realities. High-tech defense systems cannot solve underlying political tensions, but they do provide decision-makers with tools to protect civilian populations and deter us. Collation. They also shape adversary calculations. If an opponent believes its missile arsenal is unlikely to penetrate a country's defenses, that adversary may reconsider certain attack strategies or shift efforts toward alternative capabilities such as cyber attacks, electronic warfare or asymmetric tactics. In the coming years we can expect the ongoing refinement of both Iron Beam and Arrow class systems, along with the emergence of newer classes of defense technology. Areas such as artificial intelligence assisted target recognition, networked sensor fusion and autonomous command, and control architectures will influence how future systems perform. Trends such as unmanned aerial vehicles, hypersonic glide vehicles, and cyber-enabled weapons will continue to challenge traditional defense models, requiring continuous adaptation. Yet as of 2026, the, the real operational deployment of both an integrated, high-energy laser defense and an exo-atmospheric ballistic missile interceptor demonstrates a tangible shift in the practical realities of air and missile defense. These systems are not futuristic concepts. They are fielded technologies shaping current security environments, informing defense doctrine and providing measurable protective effects for populations and critical infrastructure in a region marked by persistent strategic uncertainty. Both Iron Beam and Arrow 3 are emblematic of a broader trend. Nations are now developing and deploying defensive technologies that not only respond to current threats but anticipate future ones. In doing so, they expand the frontiers of what is technically feasible while grounding these advances in the imperatives of defense and deterrence. If you found this analysis useful, 
Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more war updates and global analysis.